source of news and information. Like, one out of every 10,000 posts of people claiming that they leak something is suddenly right does not mean that, oh god, it's... It's real, you know? It's like it's like some guy on Reddit saying, uh, you know, trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. It's like, well, what's your sources? Trust me, bro. Uh, there was that, there's that one gif. Um, where's where that one gif chat of, not gif, but I think it's actually a video uh, of like Senator Armstrong and it's like uh, riding and he holds up the sword to Senator Armstrong. <gasps> Post your source. And Armstrong is like walking forward. He's like, I made it the fuck up. <laughs> I made it the fuck up. <laughs> that shit is so funny. Is, is there an actual video that my source is I made it the fuck up? Where did that come from? Is that is that in Max Maxor? Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find this. Is yeah. that YouTube? Yeah, this is this. This is it. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What is happening? Why am I? Why am I auto playing? What the shit? Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what I'm getting from, you know, that's what I'm getting <laughs> from. Is that a full video? Hang on a second. Is that a full video? Uh, wait, what? An incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising? 7.6 million views? Metal is that Gear it? Rising Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also... What the hell is these closed captions? What the hell's going on with YouTube lately? I don't know if I've ever seen this. I'm just going to I'm just going to look at it really quick. I'm this is not a reaction stream chat, but I'm curious. One of my favorite games besides Genshin Impact created as a spin-off to the critically acclaimed Metal Queer Solid 4 Guns of the Pirates. We are cast as Good. Ryan, whose resume involves fighting the Illuminati and a bisexual vampire, trading off slow stealth gameplay and conference calls of an unspecified duration for pulse-pounding action gameplay, unique cutting mechanics, and the stupidest plot of any game since uh, the last one. You know, the one where Headache Kajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave, now caught in a worldwide conspiracy headed by an evil and destructive empire called the United States. It's up to us. We, I, I, I want to. This is making me really want to play this game again. Holy shit! This is making me really want to play Metal Gear Rising again. To stop Senator Dwayne the Rock Johnson from becoming black, fight cyber. <laughs> what the fuck is this video? <laughs> what the fuck is this video? <laughs> controlled by orphans and fight a series of extremely online YouTube personas for such as Jack Bezos, the Nintendo Virtual Boy, and Markiplier. I'm gonna come find you. Mark <laughs> Flyer, <laughs> what the fuck? Set to the tune of a hardcore rock soundtrack made by the world famous Toontown Online composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above 40. And to complete our journey, we will have to res. <laughs> okay, it's already gotten a couple of laughs out of me. <laughs> composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above 40. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, you got and me. To complete our journey, we will have to resort to unrestricted brutality, cutting and slicing our enemies like a human-sized slap chop in between philosophy about the nature of conflict, the morality of separating families the hard way, and memes. They made Twitter into a plot point. So if any of that interests you, feel free to join me as we dive headlong into the wonderful madness of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And the voices now activated. Yeah, okay. Does this, does the game still, um, like, super flag? Is that dude's music, uh, still super flag on, uh, on YouTube and Twitch? Because that, that ended up being kind of a problem for, for playthroughs and shit like that. Keep watching? Does it, I mean, does anybody know? I don't know at this point. Yeah, it didn't flag on the boss rage. That's what I noticed, Jorge. Yeah, like... We use the, um, is the Armstrong song, and it was okay. Hmm. Hmm.
fascinating. Keep watching or we we riot? What the hell, chat? I mean, I do really like this video so far. <clears throat> I mean, I, I think it's... I, I guess this is a game that, you know, we came up with our own meme-ass review when it came out, for God's sake. Keep watching, please? Really? I don't want to become a React streamer. This video is really good, though. Uh, uh, chat said, please put up. So chat, all right, put up, put up a poll. Do we, do we continue watching this a bit? Because I usually don't do this, right? Like the only React streams you're going to get out of me for the most part is when, you know, new information is actually posted. And uh, we watch tournaments and shit like that. But already this guy is pretty funny uh, so far. And uh, it r reminds me of like a much better d executed Metal Gear review like the one I had back in the day. Um, and it's also really making me want to play Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> uh, Personally feel are up there, if, like if the we third didn't strikes do and the this, killer instincts and all that on, kind of shit. Because, anyway, we hit play on this. So we boot up the game, but it doesn't support high resolutions. To fix this, we head to NeoGAF and download a virus. Now I can do <laughs> Download a virus. <laughs> All right. I'm already, uh... I'm already into it. What amazing gameplay. Our story begins in the 2009 color scheme with our hero Ryan <laughs> protecting President Barfsack Crumbo. He's touring what the place of Kenya. I am uh, President United States Obama. Mr. President, you have dementia. Uh, drone strike the wedding. That can be arranged. What the fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? I spent three thousand dollars, sir. This is a Wendy's. Oh. <laughs> sir, this is a Wendy's. Sir, this. I wonder if Simmons has seen this video. Sir, this is a Wendy's. I'll just have to give you a demonstration then. Oh shit, he's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's half the man he once was. Uh, my name is Obama. I have a uh, shit my doo doo ass. Don't we need a uh, we need a Metal Gear Revengeance, right? We we need a Metal Gear Revengeance sequel so goddamn bad. We really do. It makes me realize like how how like of all the Metal Gear games, it it feels like no shit Revengeance has become one of the most memed one of them all. Like, it, it influenced in the cultural zeitgeist for years to come, even though when it came out, like, we knew, right? We fucking knew that this game was the shit, and it's friggin' amazing, and it's, and it's insanely fun, and it's literally like, oh, we just want to build hype on shit, right? We just want to make things hype as hell. So it's crazy fun, but now it's, like, over time, like, it, it's actually taken way longer for it to get to this point, where it feels like over the past, like, few years, well... I mean, you know, I, I would, I, I think, it, okay, never mind. <laughs> Granted, I, I feel like it's aged like wine. No, 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 no. It's aged like, it's aged like a fine wine. Why is that? Because some of the, some of the political landscape over the past uh, six years or so starts to very closely resemble Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. In, in a way that is, like, disgusting, but also hilarious and shocking, but really fucking funny. <laughs> like, really funny. Don't worry, Obama. I'll protect you from this sidewalk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the first enemy in the game. Now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. This is the standout feature of Metal Gear Rising. The ability to cut anything, and I do mean anything. Nature, humans, telepathic traffic poles, a family of four, and even a staircases that are required to progress four. the game. I, I think that's an oversight. This was groundbreaking stuff for the PS3. Use it to hit weak points, confuse your enemies, and prevent them from attacking, or accelerate deforestation. What are you doing, right? Most animals deserve to be extinct. Where the fuck is Ryder? Hang on, I think I'm hearing a uh, boss music Metal Gear Virgil my game crashed I'm just gonna uh, run past everyone 
Uh, Joe Biden, please help me pass the health care. Health care, you say? I'm a specialist. Ah, a new customer. Get the dog, get the dog. We're gonna be talking about the dog. Let's hope Obamacare covers euthanasia. My name is Obama. I, uh... Shut up. Stop right there. Put down President Bumcrack Osama. I'll put him down, all right. But no, I have a giant... Robot Bro, this editing... <laughs> this editing was on... It, the editing is on drugs. Like, you literally... You literally shoved crack cocaine into the USB ports of your computer. Why didn't I see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the tutorial boss. We're currently undergoing a learning experience, the one you can only get with a giant laser. This is maybe the best game ever made. And although the gameplay is a little simple, the sheer scale makes me feel both empowered and quite intimidated. It's just a wonderful way to do it when you don't look like a cracked up rooster. Of course, there's no need to worry, because Raiden is fucking jacked. <laughs> Mission accomplished. So Raiden runs all the way to a locomotive to confront Dimes for Crimes, led by none other than Buff Bezos. Uh, Mitch McConnell? Uh, Buff who's Bezos. Why do our politicians hog all the good missiles? Obama! Your prime has expired, Raiden, and so has his life. Nice. It's time for the next boss fight. I say that sarcastically because most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised this is on the train instead of in front of it. Face it, Jack, you can't even hold a sword. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration, but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. Great. Great. I'm about to level up, Jack, and you look like just enough XP. Oh, fuck, he's using bullets. Need a hand, Raiden? Also, who am I? So long, I'll be back for you, bitch. So at least two minutes pass, and Raiden is traversing the vacuum of space on his way to the... Colonel, I'm trying to fly around, <coughs> but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting me. Raiden, I'm playing Genshin Impact, but I've run out of credit card debt to purchase Ganyu. So if you can, can you lend me a, a hand? I, I will surely stop collecting them. You have a problem. So after the roughest plane ride since Delta, we head to a third world shithole known as Russia to find the men who killed President Bumsack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden begins gamer his journey by mouse body. victims, knocking them to the air and screaming their mouse. spines like fucking ice cream. He's Here, I'm gonna do us a favor, chat. Hang on a second. Okay. See, this is actually our primary method of healing, since every spine is filled to the brim with delicious electrolytes. This is the actual term used in the game. Just like American football, the soldiers of the future are fueled by Gatorade. We, however, are fueled by violence. Oh, hang on one second, I've got a call. You should kill yourself now! <laughs> So anyways, we head to the streets to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, it's completely optional. So instead, we decide to fight the foot fetish tank. And let me tell you, this enemy is real fun to kill, especially considering their fucking jump speed. Man, really <laughs> especially considering their fucking jump speed. <laughs> Time between these cutscenes. No fucking. No sex offender spotted. Okay, let's see if I can handle the rest of the video. Hold on a second. What the dog doing now? What the fuck is a dog? You are such a fucking Philistine, right? Wait, how do you know my name? I am pre-programmed with knowledge of everyone. Oh yeah? Yes. Who's your owner then, little dog? The NSA, but my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. I will never eat peanut butter ever again. For our next battle, we have Blade Wolf. Jesus. And let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um time to learn. I uh, don't know what attack this is. Fortunately, Blade Wolf will stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels, which allows us to partake of the Gatorade Eucharist. Now with the power of Jesus in our veins, we donate Blade Wolf to a kill shelter, and then he monologues. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. Somehow, I've arrived at the Bitcoin factory. I've been moderating you at Twitch for months, and you never told me you had a boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my god, she spoke to me. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Raiden, watch out. That woman is live on Stop. Now sufficiently disturbed, Raiden moves on to the best level in the game using my favorite mechanics. Inconvenient fencing, handy enemies with cool controls, and you better believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras with zero degree vision. Just don't uh, just step into the, the lasers. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Oh my god, it's a woman. Please stop that. I've been waiting for you, Raiden. <laughs> Shout out to Big Chungus29 for the donation. Please stay back. Sorry, Jack, but my stream demands you die. God, I wish that was me. That can be arranged. Welcome to the world's first boss fight, where the battle is against your own controller. Provided, of course, that I don't pull your that own against controller. the wall. In this confrontation, we fight the dark-skinned tomboy GF that I've always dreamed of, juggling and slaughtering several varieties of jihadist Bakugan. If I were forced to describe the experience, it would be Poggers or perhaps Papega, especially after Raiden achieves the miracle of flight when you fire the animators. But despite some of the occasional frustration, this battle is one of the best. Plus, I, uh, I like like it when women hit me the the moment in this fight when the vocals kick in fuck dude like they they save it for like the longest time and then they drop it like the best moment yeah that's some cool theme music bitch <laughs> That's cool. My stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. My stream. It's it's called offline. You are truly weird, champ. I, is that a bad thing? You make me want to kill myself faster. But no matter. With my death, you will never find our secret base at 29th Avenue, Mexico City. What the fuck? These are the coordinates. God damn. I'm turned on. Right. We need to pick you up. What's your location? I'm... I, I'm in a Chinese factory. Now equipped with a solid lead for his Metal Gear Rising Revengeance 2013 video game. It's up to Sonic the Edgehog to make his way to the city of Mexico, complete with his 50 pounds of smuggled cocaine and a stolen Mercedes. Raiden, are, are you wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are trying to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. Your destination is on the right. <laughs> This is a sensory overload. <laughs> now it's time for Raiden and his small pit bull to make their descent into Fallout 3. Hey, what's up gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be questioning why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Better keep playing the game to bleach my eyes. <laughs> what's up gamers? It's Maxor here. And today we are being beat to death by a gorilla. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> beat to it's death a by a gorilla. That we're having more trouble with Harambe than a giant robot. Raiden opens him up like a Pokemon <laughs> fan after ripping out his organs. Thank God that's the only enemy. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'd have problems. Oh my God! It's a Smash tournament. I have to stop it. <laughs> Welcome back to the stage of history. <sighs> okay. Oh good, new enemies. I was just about to run out of those. Okay, but seriously, this enemy doesn't want to hit me. It's all right. I don't have a Twitter account. You speak English? What the fuck is he saying? Can you repeat that? Listen, I don't know what a McDonald's does. After abandoning a child to his death, we're finally able to play the rest of the level. Raiden equips a cardboard box once used in a famous well-known video game series called Smash Brothers. That's Wario, Snake. He also attacks by farting. Now you too can remain undiscovered in any public park. Oh, fuck. Let's just move on. Now finished with the ape exhibit, we're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion. For two minutes. In that time, it's up to Raiden to escort an entire congregation to meet God. Stealth is of course optional, but so is my mercy. Now heading to the confessional, Raiden finds something that he was never supposed to see. Yo, Chris DMX, thank you. 
just gonna, I'm gonna leave this game for a while, play some good old Gary's mod. We get a call from Boris Johnson, and he tells us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoo exhibits we fought on our journey. And to figure out why, we sneak in using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, we assume the role of the US government and spy on the bad guys' webcams before selling them crack. Their evil and dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass, then making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby shark to the military. But instead of selling a Boston Dynamics dog like normal people, they figured the best way to create a robot army was to consult Mr. Epstein. So with our next target identified, we advance further until we find the giant robot. And if this hallway has anything to say about it, we're in for a fun boss fight. Raiden endures eight hours of being stunned before playing his reverse Uno card and trapping it in a corner for up two minutes, dicing up his armor and clapping him faster than that family on the highway in my Ford Mustang. Don't worry, he's a basic enemy in the next mission. Oh my god, I can't possibly cut through glass. Stop right there, Raiden, or I'll blow this child. Who is that? His head. Valkra, his thank head you. Open. Oh, wait, are you for real? I don't have time for this conversation. Children are in danger. Do you know what a gun does? What's a gun? So at least nine seconds happen and Ride Inside is driving to hell. So the this video feels like it's been 45 minutes long so far. And we're at 13 minutes. All right. Good. All right. Good. While taking his eyes off the road with some CNN. Oh, sweet. My programming is on. Super Idol de Charo, Domain. You know, America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico for so long, I'm starting to miss how peaceful it can be, especially the police. Raiden evades the evil forces of big sobriety as they attempt to suppress another innocent drunk driver, careening through the nightmare known as Denver before encountering the police budget. The police budget. And showing off his toned legs. Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, officer. I was just so busy playing League of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh, fuck. We are now forced to fight the hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government and police are influenced by corporations, specifically the corporation that we've come to volunteer for blood donations. Although Joe Ryden seems to be fighting their army of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military grade Roombas. Ryden heads into an office through the organs of an officer and inside the big elevator ever made. We take it down the hard way. Also, they forgot to limit my turn speed. There's even a subway section with this cool new enemy that I've never seen before. I don't think anything <laughs> can ruin this. What's up, gamers? God damn it. Let me tell you something important, Raiden. You're a normie and a beta male cuck. I'm only here to dispense justice. That's cringe, Jack, and your setup is weak. You can't even project yourself onto a building or a billboard. Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Why don't you go back to Facebook and post some minion memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now all this murder and you still aren't based? You <laughs> bastard. Shut the fuck up and listen for a moment. Oh my god, it's the cringe name hey, baby. Stop right there. What the fuck is wrong with his hair? What are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No, stop it. He even has a fake chin. You see now, Jack. How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my police officer? You're gonna be talking about the push, 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 push. No fuck. So after chopping the authorities so fast that their bodies are steaming, Raiden gains a brain hemorrhage from watching my editing, which affects his movement slightly. Now emotionally from watching my we editing. The mandatory stealth section. You know, eventually. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. You could say that I'm a big fan of your What? Work. My name is Monsoon of the Sussy Imposters. What the fuck? Emergency meeting. Please stop. <laughs> no. There's something genuinely wrong with you. It's just a little trolling, Jack. You're in the land of the free after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the Civil War was? It's cringe or be cringe, Jack. Soon you'll understand. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes, the DNA of the soul. They are our culture, our clout. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? No, it fucking isn't, you amoeba. You'll never be based with memes like that. You're right. About me, I mean. What? I thought I could be just like you, but 
That is a mistake. Perhaps I am cringe, but that makes me free. That's sus. Doctor, turn <laughs> off running my cringe south. inhibitors. But why did you lose subscribe to it? <laughs> okay. I was fucking joking. Why did you do it? You think you can just log off, Jack? I'm starting to see what you're getting at. And if based means what I think it means, then caring about your shitty posts is a long way off. That's rich coming from the likes of you. Family guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex on TV, using his good old-fashioned values upon which he used to rely. During which we are subjected to an onslaught of attacks at average speed for a cheetah, demanding the absolute most of the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation 1. Monsoon can fucking teleport. He throws helicopters for fun, and his preferred method of dodging is self-bisection. He knows he's three edges away from being a Sonic OC, and you know what? I fucking dig it. <laughs> I fucking dig it. <laughs> I fucking dig it. <laughs> hey Jack, ever been to the Washington Monument? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I spent four days editing that. Now excuse me as I take this call. <laughs> the memes. You are decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, right? Do not repost my memes back at me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, because your memes end here. <clears throat> I mean, so I feel... <clears throat> uh, I feel like you have to... Uh, I'm not going to click on the next video. Because I feel like in order for proper human conception, I'm not firing up part two. I'm not. Uh, I feel like what I should have done is uh, taken this part, like the opening to this part, and stopped. And then I come back the next day. I watch this part to this part. And then the next day, this part to this part. And then the final day, maybe this part to the end. You need, you have, I'm fucking exhausted. Uh, that's, I mean, I think it's like, wow, there's a lot of work that went into this and it would, and I feel like it would be funnier if I let the jokes like hit every once in a while and the opening, they're funny. And then they're, they're far in between later on only because it's like so much, this is in my face. Uh, uh, I can't. No, no, no. I can't. I need a break. Like, I literally have to split the video into, like, four pieces. And then just, like, come back later. I think I will come back later, because I'm actually curious. But, like, oh, fuck it! I'm actually yawning! Dude, holy shit! I'm stretching and I'm fucking tired! Uh, it's insane! It's- it's- it is good. I mean, there's- there's probably a lot of- there's a lot of stuff in there I missed. Because it- it takes, like, you know... Probably it's like it's like an eternal shit post like let's just take the you know a, a forum thread of a game and just condense like six years worth of shit that people talk about into 15 minutes. It's literally what it is. It's insane, man. And the fact is he knows it. He makes fun of it in, in the in the videos. He makes fun of it in that video. I can only assume it's the other ones, too. He just makes fun of it. Um, I don't want to watch any more, though. Not right now. I definitely watched the Bloodborne one. God damn it. Let me just, I'm gonna give it a, a minute. This video was you got me, you got me genuinely curious. I'm gonna give it like a minute. Uh, is it older or newer? The video has spoilers. Bloodborne is a Lovecraftian horror RPG that no one understands by definition, where the player is free to attack hordes of human children at will and consume their innards. If that in-depth and engaging anti-baby gameplay appeals to you, keep listening because it gets worse. In this game, you play as John Bloodborne, a foreigner incapable of speech without the use of sign language, and stricken with Habsburg disease, comes to the ancient city of London, seeking treatment for the sins of his cousins. In doing so, he will begin hallucinating talking dolls 
Bloodborne's spider people and the great <laughs> journeying further John Bloodborne becomes conscripted into the service of a gay elder god and the 60 year old man he keeps as a pet and is given the ultimate task of killing an invisible infant in order to cure his anemia to accomplish said Herculean task the player must journey through dark forests terrifying nightmares and the meth ridden alleyways of a post Brexit Britain slaying monsters exploring and tricking women into being impregnated by gods so you can consume the child this game is an excellent realization of a metroidvania with something new around every corner a great action rpg which pits you against insurmountable odds and extreme challenges and has a gripping story and lore about discovering the eldritch truth so if you can play it yourself because i'm not going to hold back on the details it's no secret that my reviews are entertainment first so i don't suggest using me as genuine advice However, most people can't play this game, ever, because you have to buy a $400 magical box sold by the wizard Sony in order to experience it. And even then, you get to see it in an amazing 30 frames per second with no anti-aliasing. Port this game to PC, I beg of you. In fact, I can assume that a lot of people watching this video will Good. basically never play the game. But keep watching, because I'm hilarious and original. Do that, and I can give you the full, unfiltered, uncensored, unsubstantiated, and unsportsmanlike experience that is Bloodborne. All right, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I just wanted the intro, right? I just wanted the intro. I mean, I yeah, I, I yeah. Now I can click out. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. A great intro. It was. It is a great intro. That's definitely a un, I, a very unique editing style, right? I it's it's something. It's definitely something. <laughs> right in the chat's like, thank you. That was a lot. It was. It was. And I'm not like, I'm not ready to go in for that much more. Um, <laughs> it's, it felt like, yeah, it felt like a, like a 20 minute TikTok video. It just fucking wow. And I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to like hand blast it. it. It's a, it's a lot of fucking effort. And I think it's actually very well done, but holy shit. Um, brain status melted. Yeah. No kidding. Hang on a second before.